Hey there, folks. Back with an incredible tutorial for you all. Today, I'm going to show you how to take a simple black and white logo and transform it into the most creative, tremendous ways you can imagine. First things first, folks, you're going to need ControlNet 1.1 for automatic 1111. It's a game changer, believe me. Installing it is a piece of cake. Just go to Extensions, then click on Install from URL and paste in the GitHub link in the description. Click Install and boom. Once the installation is done, head back to the Installed section and hit Apply and Restart UI. We're getting things in order, folks. All right, time for the next step. You've got to download the ControlNet line art model. Go to the Hugging Face link in the description and grab that bad boy. Now locate your Stable Diffusion folder. Go to Extensions, ControlNet Models, and drop it like it's hot. We're almost there, folks. One more restart of Automatic 1111, and we're good to go. Tremendous. Now let's set up our render settings. First off, we're going to change the sampling method to DPM 2 msde Caras. Fancy stuff, huh? Then let's crank up the sampling steps to 40. It's not mandatory, but I like to go for higher quality output, you know? Oh, and don't forget to change the resolution to a stunning 1024 by 1024. We're going big, folks. Time to bring in your black and white logo. Drag it into the control net window, making sure there's enough white space for control net to do its magic. Remember, the resolution of your control net input should match what we said earlier. You can use Photoshop or any other image editing software to center that logo perfectly. If you did everything right, it should proudly say control net V1. One, it's showtime, folks. Enable control net and pixel perfect. Then in the control type, select Linear and enable the Linear model. All right, folks, we're finally here. It's time to generate those mind-blowing logos. In my experience, shorter prompts work best. So let's try something like Jungle Vine. And hey, feel free to add some negative keywords to fine-tune your results. I assume you know your way around prompts, so let's keep it short and sweet. I've had the best results with basic patterns and materials like candy, Jungle Vine, grass, crayon drawing, cake, and the list goes on. Now all that's left is for you to fine tune your prompts and experiment with different models. The possibilities are endless, folks. If this tutorial helped you on your creative journey, don't forget to leave a like. It's greatly appreciated. Wishing you a truly great day, folks. Yours truly, the Don.